Soul Soul Simmers, my name is Darth Jeswick and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing with the Crystal Creations Stuff Pack and uh, you might notice I have three fully grown crystal trees and that is because I downloaded them off the gallery. My two other crystal trees were bugged and they weren't growing at all. I also couldn't evolve them even after like a week or so in game had already gone by so we're already like two weeks past where we were in the last episode. I'm also trying to set up another little mini let's play right now, so I'd like to finish this one before I did that. We're already level 10 of the gemology skill, so we just have to cut a gemstone worth 2,500 simoleons and then summon the Grim Reaper with jet, gemstone, or jewelry, which we already have. We've had this jet skull since she was a scientist, but we're gonna hop right into the gem cutting by making this crystal heart out of diamond. It'll help your sims have less relationship decay with other sims, they'll be less likely to develop relationship fears, and they will always succeed at apologizing in bed. What I really needed to do was find some plum bite because her thirst need was going down so low because she didn't have any of her jewelry on, it was all drained. But if you have charged plum bite, it will actually raise your sims needs over time, so I really need to find some of that. In the meantime, I'm just having her other jewelry and some of the other crystals that she has charged, and that includes our jet skull that we're going to use to summon the Grim Reaper. So we want to make sure that that's fully charged before we actually try to summon him. Crystal is done with the little heart, and it looks fabulous. Um, next we're going to do a crystal gnome made out of shinalite, and I have to say I got a little carried away with all the gnomes. I was really trying to get that $2,500 crystal, and that's the most expensive one so I figured it would be the easiest to try to get the gnomes to be my 2500 simoleon one and it eventually worked out. Just ended up taking a lot longer than I was expecting to because she's already had the level 10 gemology skill for such a long time now that I figured every one of her crystals would be coming out like perfect or excellent and you know therefore worth more. This gnome made out of shinalite ended up being 1800 simoleons, so it's not bad, but it also could be, you know, a lot more if we like put it on the selling table. The next thing I had her do was this crystal plum bob made out of emerald, and this will help your school and career chance cards be more successful. We also have our shinalite gnome just looking good there. Our emerald plum bob crystal is finished and looking good. I'm gonna have her start on another crystal skull made out of nightlight, which will help our sims energy needs decay slower and sims alien alien powers will recharge faster once depleted. I didn't know aliens had powers in this game. Um, I really don't play with them. I usually play with like vampires or the spellcasters when I'm playing with a cult. Sometimes werewolves, but the fury effect can kind of get annoying sometimes. I guess I just don't play with aliens enough or at all really, but it looks like the stuff on our crystal grid is fully charged so we'll put our jewelry back on so that crystal's needs are taken care of a little bit more. But I have a bunch of stuff on our selling table so I'm going to start a yard sale really quick just to see if anything will sell. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning so I really don't expect anybody to buy anything but there are people here. I feel like I really need to add a human to the house so that Crystal can like just stay inside and craft all the crystals while the human does all the selling on the selling table. This whole time I've been wanting Judith Ward to buy my jewelry or my crystals and every time she just like looks at it, shrugs, and then walks away. Every single time. Come on Judy, I'm rooting for you. It looks like our crystal trees are ready to harvest though so I'm gonna have Crystal run over there and grab all of them. We should get like five crystals per tree which is nice and with these magnificent ones we can actually get some rare crystals every once in a while which is actually really nice. It ended up raining throughout the next day so it was cloudy enough for Crystal to be outside to sell her jewelry and we ended up making like 10,000 simoleons off of the few pieces of jewelry that we had there. Still didn't sell the gnome. That's okay though. I can understand why people wouldn't want a weird little crystal gnome. Um, oh my gosh, Agnes, please don't hit us. Okay, yeah, you just keep walking, Agnes. Keep walking. I've had beef with Agnes Crumplebottom ever since she hit Belgian with her handbag on her birthday. And oh, what's this? A crystal? Finally, on my last episode of this Crystal Creations Let's Play, they finally decided to show back up in the environment. But the weird thing is, we actually got more than one crystal off of each dig site. I don't know if that's like a tuning thing that they did recently, but we actually got like five or six crystals off of that. I'm going to make another crystal gnome made out of orange topaz. This will help your sims gain creative skills faster. They'll be more likely to create masterpieces. They will not experience writer's block and they will take longer to burn out on creative activities. So overall, a really good one to have. I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but the round stone behind crystal is actually the same orange topaz. Uh, this is just it as a crystal gnome. I love it. It's brilliant. And I actually didn't realize it, but while we were harvesting those crystals earlier, she actually got a few pieces of plum bite, which is amazing. This will help your sims' needs increase slowly over time, and other sims will be happy around them. 
We have a small collection of crystal skulls going here. We also have one made out of sapphire. So I'm just gonna keep them all together on the shelf here. We're gonna do another crystal gnome made out of fire opal, and this one will help your sims be more successful in romantic socials, and they will also complete dates more successfully. With May the 4th coming up, I thought I'd have Crystal listen to some Batu music, and she ended up really liking it. The fire opal gnome is done, and it actually looks kind of like orangey, and I really like that. I thought it would be more of like a red color because it's like a fire opal. The next crystal we're going to make is a gnome made out of hematite and with this our sims cannot die which I think is really great. Our hematite gnome is all finished and next up we're going to do another gnome made out of alabaster. This will help your angry, scared, sad, or embarrassed moodlets fade faster. After that was finished, we made another gnome made out of nightlight. This one will help your sims' aliens' powers recharge faster and energy needs will decay slightly slower. And that pretty much got us through until the next morning when our crystal trees were ready for harvest again. It was pretty sunny out, so Crystal is just gonna use her umbrella to be safe and go harvest all of our crystals. She also harvested this rainbows when she was doing that, so your sim is much less likely to develop a fear, and sims gain all the benefits of the brave reward trait, so I'm going to have her cut a crystal plum bob out of that. The next thing I had her do was immediately do another crystal plum bob out of emerald. This one will help your school and career chance cards be more successful. After crystal was done with the emerald plum bob, I had her do another crystal gnome made out of amber. This will help your sims not fail at a variety of different interactions. They won't start a fire when cooking, and the weather will become sunny, which is not good for Crystal, but you know, it's good for other sims. After the Amber Gnome was done, I had her immediately jump into making another gnome made of Amazonite. And this one will help your sims when they're excavating in Salva Dorado, they'll find more valuable objects. I really like the color of this one, it's like a really pretty green. After she was finished with the gnome, I had her do a crystal plumba made out of citrine, and this will just help your sims find random simoleons while doing things around the house. Crystal's needs were really good, so I had her do another gnome made out of Crandestine. This will help your sims be easier to convince and more likely to lend money. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, it's just my husky and my German Shepherd talking to each other. <laughs> so far we have like 8 crystal gnomes, I'm gonna have Crystal keep working on them. I wanna do all of them, I wanna have every single crystal gnome that we can collect in the game. There's 27 crystals, so I think we can do it. Also, this random sim named Wiki started stealing all my flowers, and Crystal's a criminal and she wouldn't even steal people's flowers. That's like 800 simoleons right there. Like you're stealing from a kleptomaniac, so I'm adding you to my household because I will not let that slide, lady. I did say I was looking for a human to do all Crystal's dirty work around the house while she couldn't go outside, so, you know, cheat to add to family. Hello, welcome to the family, Wiki. Your outfit is terrible, but I'm not gonna fix it because I really don't care that much. She has the friend of the animals aspiration. Yeah, we're not getting you a dog because you stole my flowers. And you know what? I'm gonna take it a step further and make you join the scientist career so that you can harvest crystals for us. We're up to about nine gnomes right now, so I have them all charging on the crystal grids outside. But I figured now would be a good time to summon the Grim Reaper. She just kind of like waves her hands around and they glow a little bit and then he just kind of appears on your lot. Um, I figured she would at least pick up the crystal at least. Um, you know, that's fine. Um, that person just took a picture of Grim, but you know, here he is. He is here. It did work. He then proceeded to just like stare menacingly at all of our plants. So I don't really know what that's about. But the next morning, I had Wiki start a yard sale to sell the last few pieces of jewelry that we had. I'm not selling any of the other crystals because we already proved that we could get rich very easily with this pack. Um, we have like 26,000 simoleons, I think, around this point. So we don't really need any more money. Um, I'm just kind of doing this for fun now. I wanted to make as many crystals as I could. So I think I was a little overzealous when it came to the crafting though. Um, Crystal ended up getting burnt out, so I put a bunch of crystals that help with the burnout feature and it actually knocked it down from like 24 hours in game to like zero within like maybe an hour or two in game, like two to three minutes. And while she takes a break, I'm just having her read the ultimate vampire tome because she is a vampire and I wanted her to have the max like vampire knowledge. Um, and now she can craft the potion to cure vampirism, which is good. Although I think you have to have a certain mixology skill for that to work, and Crystal has no mixology skill. The whole time I was trying to get Crystal into a focus moodlet because that actually helps you get the gemstone of $2,500 value. And the entire time I was doing this, she was just inspired, so I had her take a bunch of thoughtful showers, and then she finally was in a focus moodlet. So we're going to make another gnome made out of jet. This will help you summon the Grim Reaper, and you will always succeed when pleading for someone's life. And after that gnome was done, we actually were able to sell it for 2,600 simoleons. So we are finished the aspiration now, and I'm just going to go and put all of our gnomes together. Right now we're on 14 gnomes, so we're doing pretty good. We still have a lot to go though. 
So now that we have completed the Aspiration, Crystal has the Attuned Reward trait and she can absorb the power from any crystal. The one I had her absorb is Alabaster, so her wants will actually refresh more often. We're currently up to 15 gnomes. I'm having her work on another one too. I don't remember what it was specifically, but I'm doing every single crystal that there is in the game. I did a lot of grinding for this off camera because I was just doing gnomes over and over again and another crystal baby showed up at our door. She was human though, but that's never happened to me before where my sim also randomized as a townie. Um, I just thought that was funny. Wiki also appears to be home from work. I did go to work with her for a few days, but it was off camera because I was just harvesting crystals. This is every single crystal in The Sims 4 made into a crystal gnome using the Crystal Creations stuff pack. It might have taken me a really long time to get here, but I think it was worth it. But that is all I have for Crystals Crystal Creations. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button because it really helps out. I try to upload a couple videos a week, so subscribe and hit the bell button to get a notification every time I post a new video. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Dag dag!